Namaste beautiful yogis. Today I am doing a review and a tutorial on Prana Mat Echo. It is, if you're not familiar with it, it, is, it has been quite popular in the yoga and in the new mom communities, but if you're not sure what it is, it's an acupressure mat. It is based on acupuncture and massage for and it's used for relieving minor pain, aching, back pain, um, other pain, injuries and so forth. It works on the basis of um, stimulating, massaging acupuncture points, acupressure points with acupuncture and also massage and it also improves, increases circulation, affects the meridians on which um, uh, that are connected to our organs and to uh, just the whole chain of reaction in the body. So I've been using it for a month now and it's been quite a process. I started using it just for a short bit of time, short amount of time at first because it was intense and gradually it felt less intense and super pleasant. After five minutes on the mat, um, I would start feeling this nice tingling sensation that spreads spreads out uh, away from the area that I'm uh, massaging or that I'm treating. And I've been using it in different ways. Now, this particular uh, acupressure massage, it's called Pranamat Eco. It is made out of eco materials, eco-friendly materials and it won't irritate your body because it's made out of cotton and it's filled with coconut fiber and also uh, some, some of the cover materials are also linen, so linen, cotton and coconut uh, fiber. Now the little lotus points, I think it has, I don't quote me on it, but 221 little lotuses, those are little lotus uh, points and each one of them has I think 25 spikes, so quite a bit of spikes, when you lay on it it's a lot of spikes um, and it is made out of surgical uh, particular plastic that is called hips plastic and it's a surgical grade plastic so it's hypoallergenic and it is safe for use especially when it comes to uh, pressure in the skin. The massage is the only acupressure mat that is um, US FDA certified as a medical device and I can see why it is quite intense. I have tried other ones in the past that were just very uh, mild. This one is intense and it really massages you deep. Now you can use it in many different ways. You can lay on your back either with a t-shirt on or without a t-shirt, uh, bare skin or you can start with a t-shirt or you can even use a pillowcase on top of it and slowly remove the t-shirt and see how that works. It, at first it is intense and it creates a little bit of redness after you get up which goes away but it does create redness and little puncture points uh, that go away, it marks in the skin basically. Um, so you can lay on your back if you have back pain, but as you know, your spine is connected to the entire rest of your body, so the back actually can affect other areas such as shoulder, hips, um, ankles, knees, etc., organs, uh, neck, etc. You can lay a few different ways on your back with the pillow underneath your lower back, with the pillow behind your head, under your neck, and so forth, and it massages the neck and the back of the head. You can do pigeon on it, I've done pigeon on it quite a few times. You can lay on the front of the body. I generally lay somewhere from above my knees. It covers from my mid-stomach to above my knees. And because um, I've gotten used to um, really enjoying the massage points, I actually wear just bikini and make sure that it's basically cover. It's accessing my skin um, because with clothes on, it will it will massage your points, but not as intensely. Now, a little bit of how I use it. I injured myself a few months ago, 
and it was quite painful because I ran into a metal chair you know how the metal chairs have this like ball on top and I was literally running <laughs> to meet a friend and I looked to the side and ran into the chair and I actually had like little stars kind of like in the cartoon <laughs> I saw little stars spinning around and that injury um, was uh, to my pubic bone and keep in mind I just recently gave birth not recently but a year and a half ago or a um, year and some months ago and uh, you know when you give birth your hips are already a little bit out, out of alignment out of balance you have to work on them because your um, tendons and everything is lax so you're a little more out of alignment in general there your hips took a big hit they also opened up and widened up and everything has to come back and uh, you have to come back to alignment so I added a little extra to it and it gradually uh, my pain decreased but uh, the injury improved but it wasn't 100% it was about 90% and it just kind of covered about 90% and I started doing more yoga and started stretching more and started using the massage of the acupuncture, acupressure mat, prana mat and the, it literally affects the pain to where it on many days it's like it's never been there and then if I feel it it's very decreased so it's really allowed it to stimulate the healing it brings circulation to the area and along with me stretching it's just it's pretty exciting it's it's done it's done a lot for me and i honestly didn't expect that so <laughs> i'm really uh, impressed with how this works um you can also uh, basically uh, lay um from basically your rib cage to the top of your uh, legs or you can lay from the top of your uh, above your knees to lower to a lower point in your belly and that also for new moms it's pretty good because um, it can help with stimulating the collagen production and to the skin to reconnect to the uh, abdominal muscles because there is a little bit of looseness there after birth so i feel that that might be um, also an effect or a benefit from it, but longer term. It, I've been using it just for a man, month, so I don't know if it's affecting me uh, in that way, but it's also affecting the internal organs, digestion when you lay on your uh, belly. Of course, it's um, massaging the hip flexors, the quadriceps. It's quite therapeutic and um, I've been really enjoying it. For my back, I mostly either use um, the way if I have a, a bigger bra back on my sports bra, if it's a bigger back that would help a little to soften a little the impact or a little bit of some t-shirt and less soften completely on a bare back because it's intense because I've been using it mostly on the front and that's where my body has started to soften up and relax into it which is another benefit. You just allow your body and your muscles to relax with it and also i shouldn't forget to say i've been using it before uh sorry i've been using it after uh, my workouts when my circulation is already quite improved and then i would lay on it after right after a workout i would lay on it and kind of melt on it for as long as I have time for. Usually it's recommended 20-25 minutes. Sometimes I do 5 minutes because that's all I have. Lately I've been doing 20 minutes and I really really enjoy that. It is also very beneficial before bed, especially on the back, if you lay on your back. Um, and if you have time for that, that will be great for improving sleep and relaxation and so forth. I'm a little bit busy during the evening, so I try to use it right after my workout when it's the time of the day that's the time for I take for myself. And I hope that has been helpful for you. Have you tried Pranamad? And what was your impression? I will link uh, all the links below and if there is any coupons or sales or etc. When the video goes out, I will link those uh, current uh, coupons and uh, sales and i hope to hear from you soon thanks for joining me today
नमस्ते